Hi all, in this video, we will be discussing about Karnataka Common Entrance Test, which is commonly known as KCET. It's a state level entrance test. More than 2 lakh candidates register for the exam every year. Students have lots of queries regarding this exam. We'll try to address them in this video. We'll touch upon these points in the next few minutes. Karnataka Examination Authority has been conducting this test from past 25 years. Earlier, it was a common entrance test for medical as well as engineering students. But since 2016, NEET has become a centralized exam for medical entrance. Now KCET is a gateway for admissions into engineering, B Pharma, Pharmacy courses, and various pharma sciences courses in various government and private aided institutions in the state of Karnataka. Who is eligible for this exam? Candidate should be a citizen of India and should have domicile of Karnataka. You should have passed in government recognized institutions within the state of Karnataka for a minimum period of seven academic years commencing from first to 12th standard. In 12th standard, you must have passed with at least 45% marks. For engineering, the compulsory subjects are physics, chemistry, and mathematics. While for farm sciences courses, the compulsory subjects are physics, chemistry, and biology. Passing of all the four subjects that is PCMB will make you eligible for all the mentioned courses and thus will increase your options. The syllabus for KCET test is based on the State Board of Secondary and Higher Secondary Education, that is PUC first and second syllabi prescribed by the Department of Pre-University Education of Karnataka State. It is very similar to that of NCERT. This exam is held once in the year in the third week of April for two consecutive days in four different sessions for four subjects, mathematics and biology on first day and physics and chemistry on the next day. In the morning and evening time slots respectively, time duration for each subject is 70 minutes and extra 10 minutes are meant for reading and filling in other details. Each question carries one mark. There is no negative marking. So it is advisable for the students that they attempt as many questions as possible to increase their chances of getting more marks in the examination. Now here are some tips for the exam preparation. It is advisable to start your preparation from the beginning of session for PUC first and second. It is important to focus on course books as they cover all the topics in the syllabus of the exam. You need to make study plan, prepare short notes for quick revision and practice as many sample papers and mock tests as possible to get familiar with the exam pattern. Keeping this in mind, we at Wiley have launched a new book on KCET with solve paper and practice test. The most unique feature of the book is that it will prepare you for all the four subjects that is physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology. We all know previous year question papers are the most authentic source of information for discovering the latest examination pattern plus figuring out how much time one needs to spend on each topic. This book is giving previous year papers of 2008 to 2019 for all the four subjects along with detailed solutions that have been tagged chapter wise. Solving these papers will help you to self evaluate yourself and to gain confidence. You can start practicing these papers by November once you are done with the revision. The next imperative step in the preparation is to practice mock test. Three mock test papers provided in this book are designed to self assess your understanding of the topics. It will help you to track your performance in terms of time management as well as weak points or subjects to focus on. 
It will give you extra needed mileage to successfully clear the exam. You must have been aware that talks have already been started with NTA to hold KCET in online mode like JEE in coming years. Thus, practicing the test in online mode is an essential step for your preparation. Wiley's book provide a coupon through which you can practice all these tests in live simulated environment on the pedagogy platform. It is supported on both mobile and web. The platform offers personalized learning experience. It gives you a full featured analytics using AI to monitor your performance. The entire process of the exam from registration to the result announcement is carried out online on the official website. For more updates on the exam and important dates, keep on checking this website. Thank you and all the best. Please do share your queries in the comment section below.